are you planning a move to Phoenix and you're wondering what's the best month to move to Phoenix? Well, hey, I'm Kelly Norton. I'm your AZ Realty Lady. And today I'm going to break down for you what might be the best time of year to move to Phoenix or what might be the best month to move to Phoenix. So stay tuned. We'll be right back. Hi, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady at EXP Realty. Count on me for all things Arizona real estate. All right, so for those of you who don't know me, again, I'm Kelly Norton, and I'm known as the AZ Realty Lady. I'm a Valley native and a real estate agent right here in Phoenix of over 20 years. And a lot of people will say, what is the best month to move to Phoenix? Well, in today's video, I'm gonna break that down for you. So to start, it's not as easy as you might think to answer that question. So in the Phoenix market, we actually have kind of two different seasons. So we have the 55 and up seasonal market, which happens and gets busier during those fall and early spring months. So if you are looking to move here to have a winter home, or you're moving here for uh, a retirement community and you're gonna be really in that 55 and up community, then your season is gonna look a little bit different than if you were moving into another area that had no age restriction. So let's start with the 55 and up. So if you're looking to move into a 55 and up community, the best time of year would be the fall. And the reason why I say the fall is because there's more homes to choose from. There's more inventory that starts to come on the market for you to choose from. And then you have, you know, a, a better chance of finding something that you like, but there's a flip side to that. <laughs> there's more competition. <laughs> so you kind of have to think of it that way as well. You have more competition, but you have more inventory to choose from. So if you have flexibility on when you can move out here or you can purchase your home and not physically have to be out here until the fall, then the summer might be a great option for you in that retirement community. Now, here's, here's kind of the other way to think about it. In the summer, there's still people that sell in the 55 and up. Things happen, life happens, and they still have to sell. So this is actually a better opportunity for you to have less competition and have somebody that is super motivated. If they're selling their home in a 55 and up and they're doing it in the summer, something has happened that is forcing that move to occur. So typically they're motivated sellers, they need to sell, and you might be able to get a better price on the home rather than purchasing in the fall when all of the sellers know that that is the primo time on the market and the time to sell. So there's a couple ways to look at it, but ultimately most people do buy in the 55 and up in the fall and early spring, but you do have a chance to kind of corner the market as a buyer if you go during the summer, which is the off season for 55 and up. Remember, if you like the information I'm sharing, subscribe to my channel, click the bell, you'll be notified when I put up new messages. And uh, there's more to come on this video, but remember, if you are looking to relocate to or within the Phoenix and surrounding areas, then please call me or text me. It's the best way to reach me and I would be more than happy to help you. All right, so now let's dive into the other part of our seasonal market and that's going to be the um, all the other areas that aren't 55 and up communities. So usually we'll see a lot of people start to make that move kind of in the spring to summer. And a lot of this is driven by the fact that people want to relocate, get their kids settled before school starts. And in the Phoenix and surrounding areas, we do have year round schools in some of the districts. And then we also have your traditional scheduling as well, where you have the summer off. So, it, but most of the time, even when you're in the year round school, you still do have several weeks off during the summer. So a lot of people will move here and try and get their kids settled before school starts. So we do tend to see things get a little bit busier for people looking for homes in the late spring and in the middle of the summer. So it kind of goes to the same uh, tune that I was discussing with the 55 and up situation. So the 55 and up market, it's busier during that fall and early spring, 
and then outside of those communities it gets busier in the spring and the summer. So there may be more inventory for you to choose from because more people are making that move themselves. So they're selling their home, moving to another home, or they waited for the job transfer to happen. Now they're waited for school to get out to make that, that move. So there's more inventory for you in most cases. However, when they know that it's the season, there's more buyers coming in that can tend to bid those prices up. So you may have a better opportunity with less competition if you purchase during the winter months, if you're outside of that 55 and up. So, um, so October, November, December, January, that can tend to be a better time to buy. Historically, it's a little bit slower, not as many buyers. And again, your sellers are gonna be motivated. They're gonna be true sellers that are having to sell during that time of year. If they're selling during the holidays, they are motivated. So that may give you a little bit of leverage in your offering as well. So the long and short of it <laughs> is that our market right now is super strong. So any time is, is a fine time to buy, you just have to be competitive. Um, but if you really wanted to break it down, like I said, if you're outside of a 55 and up community, then you certainly could maybe try for the winter to make that be a little bit more of an edge for you. Um, but recently, again, it's been busy regardless. And then 55 and up, definitely the summer has tended to be a, a better time for you to purchase and uh, have a little bit better chance of negotiating a better price. So I hope this information was helpful for you. Remember, subscribe to the channel, click the bell. And again, I'm Kelly Norton, your AZ Realty Lady, and I help people just like you that look to relocate to or within the Phoenix and surrounding areas. So call me or text me. It's the best way to reach me. Take care, have a good day.